Testing, testing audio. Testing. Is the audio okay? I'm afraid to tap down because the music stopped. Okay. Okay, testing one, two, three. Okay, testing one, two, three. Okay, good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today is Monday, the 22nd of April, 2024. My name is Fotopia. Welcome back to another live stream. This is a little bit weird. Every time I tap out the game, the music stops. So, that's a bit annoying. Not gonna lie, but today we're gonna check out the new... Wait. Why is the table behind me? Wait, hold on. There we go. Smooth as hell. There we go. Today we're gonna check out Day with Ollie. Apparently, this is the new game from Ollie. It's a official uh, whole life game from Ollie. Hello, Tokia. Pogu, man. Pogu. Yes, you can pick this game up on Steam for a little price of seven bucks. And I think you should because it's gonna help out Ollie and all life in general. How's how I've been doing today? Sit guy have fun? Music sound a bit loud? Okay, okay. Let me mess the ball up a bit. Is this okay now? Pom bomb? Pom bomb bomb. Is this okay now? Hopefully I don't blast your ear open with it. But yeah, today we're gonna check this game out. Uh, apparently, Ali said that you should be able to play this until the f the next day. Something about like uh, the the phone ringing and whatnot. But yeah, this is gonna be based on Whole Life Indonesian, as you can see right here. Day with Ali, we have area 15 right here with Muna, Risu, and Yofi, with Anya, and Re West Rene, or Rene right here, a little bit behind the, the the menu right there. And we have of course Hello Hero. With Zeta, Kobo, and Kayla. So we're gonna jump into this game and let's see what it is. Let me check if I. All he said that I should tweet about the game. So, yeah, just in case. So you sh maybe should come by and see. Okay. Everything should be good. It's a little bit annoying that every time I tap out, the music stops. But it's a vi uh, visual novel, so yeah, good enough. Okay, let's play! Today is the day you've been waiting for. Ooh, I like the fun. Apparently we're in, uh, we're in Japan. Very nice. Okay. Because you attend an interview with the Holo staff as one of the reporter candidate for Holo Life Indonesia. Yo, are we just aced the, the audition? Whoa, that's nice. The chosen reporter will be covering one of the talent, none other than Crazy Ali. So like a like a personal clipper then. Ooh, seems like a nice job to have. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! It's a skip, just like any other visual novel. So, I didn't play a lot of visual novel. I play a fair share of uh, normal one and also spicy one. So normally, if you right click, you will brought into the save menu. Nope, you can't. So you have to click the save button then. Okay, I see, I see. Can you read? Oh, you can! Okay, so a little bit of a tip and trick. If you use your mouse wheel, you can move up and down. Yeah, you can move up and down on the, the text. You can kind of like re-roll on what happened and whatnot. Okay, today's my interview day. Oh, so excited. You're pencing around an excitement and take out a small mirror from your pocket. 
You try various cool posts and ensure that your preparation is all set. Hmm, pretty neat, aren't I? Bought a new formal suit just for this interview. Let's do a small post. Yeah, looking good, man. Maybe some more? Oh, super. <laughs> you absorb an assignment, not realize that you're passing by or that passerby has been staring at you. Mom, what's wrong with this person? Can you? Oh, you can. Normally, if you middle mount, you can see like the full picture without this uh, conversation box, which is really nice, though. Oh my god, freaking Brad. Shh, the more finger they were biting off by that person. I'm not an animal, what is this? Huh? Uh, the, the, what is this? Yo, Nagato, hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. We play a little bit of uh, Day with Ollie's, which is a new uh, whole life official game. Just close your eyes, only a weird person does that. Come on, let's leave, we shouldn't meet. Uh, hell, excuse me, ma'am? No fun, okay, ma. Get out of here. <sighs> Kiss this day. It is inappropriate to teach your children that. Yeah, don't don't teach your children that. Huh, weird? I'm not weird, I'm just... Different. <clears throat> I can't let this one slide. Ooh, first, always save? Yes, always save. I'm just gonna just stay cool. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cool guy. Just stay cool. Do you decide to stay cool rather than wasting your time? Get angry at them. And then you learn or you lean against a nearby tree pretending to radiate your charisma. I mean, I probably maxed out my charisma stat, right? Okay. Look, mom, that's weird person touched the tree. Even though the side forbade that. That's a sign? I mean, I, I totally saw that sign. Shh. That what weird person does. Surely they can't read. Excuse me, ma'am? You're not wrong, but like... No... Ahem. I'm not supposed to... Oh. It's turned out there's a sign near the trunk of the synthetic tree that said the tree is being painted. Oh god. Am I gonna be all pain now? Yo, sure, Pumpkin! Hello! How are you doing? You doing fine? It's great to hear. I'm doing okay. Thank you, thank you. We have a flashback? Oh, there go your interview chance because your suit is heavily stained with yellow paint. Did I just lose? Wait, is it game over? Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Ollie! Oh! It's... Wait. It's been five minutes. It's less than five minutes and I'm already lost. I see. This is those type of, uh... A visual novel, eh? Copa Laggy? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I lost already. Ah. Uh. How the music volume, guys? Is is it still good? Yo, I reset. So oh, no, oh god. Ah, uh, wait. Restart. Play. Wait. How how do you go to the the loading screen? Do you just click play again? Ah. Uh, so you have to load in the game. Interesting. I have to load over here. Okay. I guess we walk up to them. Seems like uh, the no one. I don't want to get mad at people. Let's, yeah. While the mother and her child from got far, you immediately walk up to them. Mom, mom, the weird person from earlier. I swear he looked like a like a 15 year old. Yo, Arisa, thank you, thank you for tuning in. How's your day, sir or ma'am? Hope you have a nice Monday so far. Shh, don't say that. Mother immediately tried to shut her child and calling you a weird person inno innocently. See, you're supposed to teach your kid better so they not keep call person name. I guess the translation is something weird in um because if I remember correctly, this game is supposed to be in Bahasa, Indonesia. 
So maybe the weird person term is got translated into English, but it's something else in uh, Indonesia. I'm not a part of myself yet, but at least I know this much. I should know. I should do something before her child say something even worse. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna advise the kid. You know, you don't scold the kid. They just, you know, learn what their parents teach them. So, just gonna advise the kid. Hey, little fella, you shouldn't call people a weird person. Yeah, I know you're a good kid, so please don't do that, okay? See, pretty normal thing to do. Here, have a candy. You want some? You have to promise me be a good kid and don't call people names again. I don't know about giving kid candies, though. Especially, I don't know about in Japan. But normally, you don't just go and give kid candies. Um, yeah, people are gonna gonna suspect you. To be like a kidnapper or something, so I think this is a bad move in general. We'll see. The child nod and try to take the candy from your hand. Oh no! <gasps> Help! A kidnapper trying to take my kid. What? What did I told you? What did I told you? What did I told you? You don't give candy to kids, especially random kids. Like this gonna happen because like either it's gonna be some kind of like uh, acting to trying to um, scam you money or it's gonna be something like this. The translation should be a crazy person instead of a weird person. Ah, I see, I see. That's why I was like, weird person is not really a bad word. It is kind of weird. The mother scream for help, alert the crowd, and then they beat you up. I told you! I told you, right? <sighs> Since then, you've always been mistaken for kidnapper. My god. Look at this face. This is a very punchable face. This is play again, right? Ooh, all the uh, transition. Nice. Okay, we die again. Well, reload. Uh, we, uh, should we should we talk to the mom or should we score the child? I think I think I don't know. Seems pretty bad to me. But oh, Kobala gave me play again. Okay, thank you, thank you. I think that score the child will be the the correct one. Because now I know the game that the incorrect answer is the good one and the bad answer will probably be the correct one. So I'm gonna score the kid. Yo kiddo, don't you know it's rude to point at people and say something like that, huh? I'm not a weird person. You are! Oh my god, I just pull up. No, you! Okay, that kid is done for. But your mother even weirder. Oh my god! It's, it's the no you in combination with your mom. Wow. I'm brutal today. Yeah, they're speechless. And now either I'm, I'm gonna be the correct answer or I could put into jail. Sop, sop. <laughs> Rather than making them realize that mistake, you make the kid cry and everyone's eyes turn to you. Oh shit. Okay, may maybe that's a little bit much. Oh no, the locals make me cry. Oh god. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the type of game we're playing now. We're playing spot the different and tries to rationalize. Okay, okay. On this one. Is the connection still okay? I'm all tap out right now, so the music is a little bit lost. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll talk to the mom. Excuse me, ma'am. Why are you teaching your kid to call people names? Your child is still quite young. Wow, I sound so like... So, so, uh, sophisticated. It's like, excuse me, ma'am. Why do you do that? 
Imagine how would you feel if you were in my shoe. Wow, I'm, I'm so... <laughs> that's kind of funny. I mean, even a weird person won't accept being called weird by others, wouldn't they? Think, ma'am. Think. Can't you consider how a weird person would feel? Do you want me to sue you? Okay. Okay, that's a bit far, buddy. Um... Well, that... I don't think we should sue people for insulting. Um... Maybe in a very extreme case, but not like this. The mother seems shocked by your work, but you still continue anyway. After a few minutes, you end up feeling tired. <sighs> Apparently, it took plenty of energy. Well, that is that enough. The mother and the kid gone totally silent now. I think this is enough. You should forgive and let them go. I'm sure they have reflect on it. Right, ma'am? I'll get this like this time. Don't repeat the same mistake, eh? Remember, consider all the feeling, even if it's actually a p weird person, they also have feeling. We keep that in mind, and thank you. Nice. The mother is trying to leave you quietly. Oh, oh, okay. But unknowingly, you actually make them even more convinced you are a weird person. Well, <sighs> that can't be helped then. On your way, somehow you forgot the direction to the Hollow ID office building. Buddy, get a map. Hmm, I think yesterday's shops share the location. Oh no, Alexa! Open Google Map. Yep, I was right. I don't think they translate this English into English. Um, anyone speak Indonesian in the chat? Help me. Um, huh. Whoop. Something, something, 500 meter? Okay, okay. I'm gonna use my telekinesis, okay? Um, the studio is somewhat 500 meter, uh, in the corner over there. Uh, 500 meter to the left. Hmm. Interesting. Something about 500 meter away. Also, the road straight ahead is kind of uphill. Uh, the road to the office is quite far. Is there any shortcut I can take? As you look for a shortcut through the map, you eventually find one and decide to take that road. The street is quite busy this morning. As a law-abiding citizen, I don't use any phone while working. Okay, that's, that sounds okay. This means go straight for 500 meter, then turn left, and then turn right again for 500. I, I was correct! Oh my god! I didn't know I was fluent in Barca. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so good. I'm actually correct. I was just memeing. I, I didn't know it was. Okay. I mean, I totally knew. Tuh. Makachi. <clears throat> According to the map you have memorized, you have arrived at a tea junction. It's like a roundabout? If I remember correctly, I should take the road via... Oh no. Oh no. Uh, save. Elite residential area. Ooh. Is Miko gonna be here? A damaging road or fruit market? You know what? Let's go to the elite area. Maybe Miko's there. Maybe... This way! Ooh. Kind of a apartment, I see. You immediately enter the lead residential area. The further you walk, the smaller you feel because the house are huge and fancy. Yo, how much does a house cost here? Must cost a fortune. I wish one night could buy one of those houses. I thought it's an apartment. It's an apartment, right? It's not a house. You keep walking while imagining it would feel living in such an elite area. I guess the the translation is luxury, I guess? Or like a, somewhat of a rich area? Elite area sounds a bit interesting. While you were admiring the fancy house there, suddenly someone caught you. You turn around, since you can recognize the voice. None other than friend from high school, Rudy! Ugh, Rudy. The most arrogant student back then. What are the chances of meeting him here? I'm sure he just keep babbling around again. 
Rudy come closer to you. Yo. He looks like the the evil scientist kind of guy, you know. He keep the aura of like a friendly, but like a stab you from the back kind of smile. Yo, you SMA tree graduate, one of the weep, aren't ya? Oh, already, already with the sass, man, Rudy. I remember you sang Sasa Gyo during the school festival back then. No, ooh. Bring back hurtful memory too. This guy, that's a low blow, bro. You're quickly trying to find a way to leave. So you have no intention of conversing with Rudy for too long. SFA in high school. Ah, I see, I see. Thank you, Komotra. Thank you, thank you. Also, Sasa Gyo. Does he mean Sasa Gyo? Sasa Gyo. Sasa Gyo. <clears throat> Claim to be a cell person, pretend to be possessed. Oh, not load safe. I guess we just leave, right? Uh, should we talk to him? Pretend to be possessed. I think this is gonna be the correct answer. Knowing this game, I'm just leave. Just leave. Ah, whatever. Just leave him. Huh? What? What are you running? What? What? What are you running? You might get mocked by him, but you decide to just leave immediately. Oh. Apparently it was a dead end. I had to turn back and meet Rudy again. Huh. So the building is the right building, but we have to talk to him. Okay. Udin and a sword. Okay. Another chance. I think we're just gonna pretend to be... Mm, what do you guys think? Should I pretend to be possessed or claim to be a self person? I think self person will be the wrong one because it's like a normal answer. But pretend to be possessed seems like it's gonna be the correct one. Seems so freaking weird. I'm gonna go with possessed. Yeah, just go with possessed. Yeah. Buddy. I, I think possessed is like you're supposed to be possessed by a ghost. Not an animal. Raw! I am the ruler of the forest. Ah! You smirk when you saw fear in Rudy's eyes. But that didn't last long. Rudy brought various people. There was scholar, a cleric, and a monk. The fuck? We're playing D and D now. You will exercise various method and end up. <laughs> what the? What is this game? Oh, what is this game? Oh, jeez. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Apparently, possess is not the right thing, even though it's a crazier one. So, I'm gonna claim to be a sale person. Excuse me, sir. I'm from the XXX company. I don't think that's a fruit selling company. If it, hmm, <clears throat> never mind. I have some product that may interest you. What? 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 Yeah, it's what. We're offering 50% discount on our newest pen product. Why are you selling pen? Suspicious, huh? <laughs> he must really confused. Now we just need to babble until he goes away. You try your best to pretend the offers various kind of products to Rudy and it's work. Wait, what? Rudy is actually interested in your product and listen to your offer instantly. Wait, what? It's all wrong? Huh? Ollie! Okay, so we need to go back further. Because all the option is wrong. Okay, okay. I guess we go with a fruit market then. A cheese Ollie! What is this? Ah, got freaking snapped by Rudy again. No office in elite rest. Ah, oh, cheese. Also, uh, Ollie. Before this, there's a there's a there's a bug. I'm not. It's not a bug. It's a not. Translate section 
this one. Apparently, this still in uh, Bahasa, I think. So this apparently, as someone said in the chat, is go straight, five hundred meter, and then turn left, and then turn right. So yeah, so that. Okay, so we're gonna check out the fruit market. Or damaging road. We're gonna take chances, okay? We're gonna go damaging road first. Oh no. This way, I guess. You should double check just in case it is road the only way. Hmm. You check the map on your phone, and indeed, it's the way. The other road was a dead end. You travel, but your traverse has been broken road slowly, it's rock and muddy. It seems like a construction zone. Maybe I shouldn't go this way? Hmm. Then I'll be pro out because they don't want me dirtying their office. Perish the thought for Oi-chan! I have to pass the interview! But what do I do now? Ooh. So, Remove your shoe. Ah. Then you will dirty your sock! Try to walk on the road to air. This is scary. Just walk slowly. There must be like some kind of rug in the office, right? I will I walk slowly. Barefoot? Nope. Can't do that. Maybe it's fine if I walk slowly. You keep your shoes on and walk slowly, avoiding pad with deep and wet mud. You notice that's a smooth pad on the other roadside? You consider the option. Hmm. Ooh. Multiple choice. Stay on the current pad. Cross to the roadside. Uh, probably this one? So I could jump from here to here. I'll cross and take the lower row. Probably down here. Hmm. Should I? Ah. Uh, well, you got things. Should I stay on the pad? Maybe there's mud and uh, concrete and whatnot. Maybe gonna get me a little bit slower down. I think we're gonna take the road side. It's safer, I think. Let's cross and take over the lower one. You check the traffic and cross the road, and then you took the lower one. Uh, I'm assuming this is like toot toot. Allow sound coming from a truck horn on your side at this speed towards you. Freaking RACO! Oh no, it's the squirrel! I've got a sick guy. Out. <sighs> the truck went so fast and spied dirty. Puddle give you a mud bat. Oh, I thought I got Issei guy by Risu. Okay, well, we're fine, but we still. This face very punchable. I swear, man. Say, ha ha! Gotcha! <sighs> Why are you like this, Ollie? Okay, we, we're gonna take the. We're gonna take the side road this time. Up, up, up. Okay. Low road, right? If take longer, but walk on this roadside, so you immediately cross the road without checking the traffic. I have a bad feeling about this. Can I low from here? Oh no, you're frozen on your fate being sealed. Oh shoot, I could low it here. Oh, I don't think I'm. Maybe the truck will stop, okay? Maybe the truck will, will stop. Hey! It's Easter guy! It's actually an Easter guy option! I was right! Okay, okay, so just stay on stay just just stay on the, the side. We just be slowly working down the side. Bup, 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 bup. Stay on the pad. Rather not risk it, I see some dirty puddle over there. You decide to stay on the current path and eventually reach the end of the muddy road. There you find a tunnel that is so dark that you can't even see what's inside. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Pretty sure I'm gonna go uh, to the office for an interview. What is this? A dead side? Try to check the map app, but no avail due to signal loss. Oh, come on. How do I check the map now? Do I have to turn back? I watch an anime, and when you go through the tunnel, you turn into a pig. We're just gonna wait. Safety first, okay? We're gonna go safety first, 
and we're gonna wait until your phone casts a signal again. No? Maybe we late for the interview, but uh... I'm sure Ollie and the staff will understand. Your phone caught a fake signal if a miracle just happened. You merely open your map, and it turned out you have to take the path next to the tunnel. Uh, good thing I haven't gone through the tunnel. Hey, I was correct this time. Hmm. Getting possessed in there is the last thing I want. A mysterious giggling sound echo from inside the tunnel. Oh no, it's Corvo. You immediately left the tunnel engine. As you walk on that path, you find all the bushes of various plants. Suddenly, you stumble upon a vast flower field. Somehow, just seeing it makes you fatigue wash away. Ah, <sighs> good sight of a lot of flower, eh? I swear, this is bait, man. Only, only trying to bait me into like. We're gonna leave it. We're just gonna go vanilla as possible, okay? Focus on getting to the office for the interview. I almost thought of taking a closer look. Got so enhanced even from afar. Get a grip, me. Have to pass to become Ollie Reporter. Or imagine being Ollie Reporter. Speed life come true. Uh, speed dream come true, man. You continue your way until you arrive at the highway with your good signal. You check the map apps again to make sure you are on the right row and then continue your walk. On the last row until the Hollow ID office, suddenly you feel unbearably thirsty. You bring some drink with you, buddy. I'm so thirsty. Oh, yeah. Is there any vending machine? You sight immediately ship to a place not far from where you're standing. Small shop, exactly like the shop near your house during your childhood across the road. Seeing is your thirst even more unbearable. Water! Soda! I want to drink something! You look for the crosswalk but didn't find any. You have no choice but to judge walk. Oh god. We're gonna get Eastern guy again. However, cars and buyer are going by so fast, leaving you no chance to cross. Ah, oh. oh, my mastery by be my uh, be by my side. Wait until you get your chances. Wave your hand while crossing. I normally do this when there's no uh, crosswalk. Basically, just wave your hand and people will notice. You don't have bow because if you have bow, you will be a little bit of a stasis form and. You will probably got slapped harder if you have bound. So I'm gonna wave my hand while crossing. Maybe you could wave my hand while crossing. Then slow down, let me cross. Yeah, that's like the most uh, rational thing. Despite your doubt, you do so anyway. But on your first step, a pop. Oh god. A car passed by so fast in front of you, and. I got this guy again. Your foot hit by a speeding car and half of your shoes blown away. Oh god, I'm missing a feet. Ah jeez. Top. Oh, that's normally work though. Well, unless, uh, unless you've been like Singapore or something, they run surprisingly fast over there. Oh, you bring back here. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to load. It's literally. Oh, it's like saving. In this one, I'm gonna wait until you have your chances. Maybe you got a little bit late though. No, I shouldn't be reckless crossing the road. The car could run over me. Patient is the key, young puddle one. I have to wait until the road is less busy. Mm. Uh, you wait for a few moments, and finally, you got your chances to cross the road. Without any delay, you went to a small shop you saw earlier. Yeah, be patient, that's like the best. Ooh. Oh, I remember the time on in uh, Japan. That's like a shop like this. It's like selling ice cream and whatnot. Oh, it's like some fried food right here. Ah, uh, that's so cool. I thought the shop was small because I saw it from afar. Turns out it is indeed small. 
story of my life. <clears throat> Mrs. Shopkeeper B, where you buy? No one at the shop is small, but the auntie is so small. I want to buy a drink. What do you have in stock? Everything except uh, alcohol, I think. Brew drinks like beer and alcohol. Have cold and non cold, not hot drink. So warm. It's a small shop and not a coffee shop after all. Okay, I'll bought. Safe. Always safe, okay? Rule number one of visual novel always safe before choice. Soda drink? Vitamin syrup? What? You guys go buy vitamin syrup as a shop? Outside? Huh. I think we just go with mineral water. Just plain old mineral water. One, two, a dozen. Did she think I'm gonna resell them? It's just one. Just one. Small, medium, or large? I. Medium is premium, I guess? Yeah, medium. Cup, what? Ladies, just give me. Just give me a drink. I'm gonna die before I get a drink. Bottle, thank you. Please don't ask me anything else. Which brand? Agua, Janfog, or Timinere? Timinere. Ooh, so fancy. This is getting annoying. Can you just pointing at something and buy it up? It, like, normally you're just pointing at the picture, right? Even if you don't know the language, you're just pointing at the picture and you'll probably be fine. One more question and I'm leaving. Auntie, I'm too thirsty. I guess we go with this. I don't want to like passive aggressive with the, the, the old lady. So we're just gonna go with... I'm just too thirsty, Auntie. I know, and if you didn't, you wouldn't come here. Oh my Jesus, hell. This, this... Uh, you got so annoyed and cleanse your fist. Oh, no, no. Which fist you want, right or left? The right fist will match up your shop, and the left will be the same, just slightly different. You shouldn't do that. I mean, to anyone, really. But, like, an old lady, you shouldn't do that. She called a cop on you. Oh, feeling threatened. Yeah, yeah, she killed. Like, you don't do that. You just go there to buy a drink. Like, what, what, what? Just ask for a drink. If you get annoyed, just say it. Okay. Up, 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 and we're gonna go with a uh, mineral water. One more, uh, too many question. Okay, we don't go passive aggressive. We just say too many question. Are you a journalist? How did you know? Suddenly, the the auntie smiled. Huh? How do you know that I want to be a journalist? It was my dream to become a journalist, but I didn't make it because I didn't graduate from college. Oh no, she's gonna tell her life story. Oh yeah. Oh, I have that feeling too. Like when you go with your parent, and and then suddenly your mom would talk with uh, the, her, her friend for like five hour because ah, uh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna load because clicking through this take a little bit. Yo, wahoo, a bell, a, a bell, a bell, a bell. Yo, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a nice Monday so far. One more question and I'm leaving. I guess we go with passive aggressive. Kids these days are no fun. Go ahead. Pick your choices in the fridge. It's 7,000 each. Yen? Or. Wait, what Indonesian currency? Is it ringgit? Or is it Malaysian? I I'm sorry. I don't know. 7,000. It's so expensive! What game is this? This is a visual novel called Days with Ollie. You can pick this up on Steam. Link will be in the description. This is uh, one of the few Hololite official games. As far as I can tell, there's like um, like Hollow Earth. 
is like the first ever whole life official game, but they haven't out yet. But this one is just released just a couple hours ago. Rupee uh, about 50 or uh, 7. Ah, I see, I see. Thank you, thank you. This rupee. Also, I thought she would take it out for me. Could have taken myself and I have to answer so many questions. Despite your annoyance, you still took the mineral water you need and paid 7,000. You drink half the bottle, then you continue on your way. From where you're standing, the whole office standing so high from other building coming to view. Finally, I arrived! Yes, all of you am coming! Huh. Interesting. Hey, we there! Oh, more vending machine! You're full of excitement, your step turn into a small skip. While walking and enjoying your surrounding, you're realizing you were the only one who formal low, uh, you were formal close while carrying various files. Oh no, so my job rival! Oh god. Shoot, I might lose the chance against them. No, I can't lose here. I should reread my interview material. You read a book entitled Interview answer that could charm any HR, HRD as you walk. Finally, you arrive at the ramp leading to the whole ID office building. Oh, this vending machine makes me uh, miss Japan so much. They have so many vending machines. As you climb the ramp, a granny with an even color clothes bump into you. Oh god. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't see you. No, it's, it's okay, it didn't focus either because I was reading a book. I see. You're so diligent. My grandson doesn't like reading books. His eyes only on a phone all day. Can't be helped. Kids usually behave like that. Yeah, kids these days doesn't really read books anymore. They either watch like YouTube on their phone and whatnot. My grandson is 32. Oh. I mean... Technically correct, right? It's still the same. A dude? I thought the grandson was a kid. Uh, I... Ah, uh, Naru, hold on there. Um, by the way... Oh. Granny, you going somewhere? Why did you stay at home? And are you alone here? Hmm. Uh... I'm gonna ask where she- Oh no, ask, ask where someone you just met, where they're going, is kinda creepy. So I'm gonna ask if- why you stay at home? Am I not allowed to go outside? Um, no, just, you know. Is she angry? I'm just asking though. I'm just asking, maybe it's a little bit dangerous if all people are going outside, that's all. Just asking curiosity can I of course you can it's called privacy uh I just how is this so lost Ollie <sighs> where is it must be right here okay I think I'm gonna load it just asks about privacy, come on. You having a PMS, Granny? What is PMS? Positive Mental Sentient. In the nation, we greet by asking people, where are you going? Ah! I don't know that. Like, um, for all I gather, if you saw someone, Especially when you don't know them, asking where they're going is kind of like a stalker, like, behavior, right? Like, if a random dude come up to you and ask, yo, where you going? I will not answer because, like, why do you want to know? Who are you? Why are you here? Kind of thing. But I guess it's different culturally wise. Are you, should, should be angry, Granny? That could be a, uh, excellent, oh no. Oh no, you, you don't say that either. You don't you don't mentioning age to old people. Oh no. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Yep. <sighs> it's normal Indonesian? Ah, I see, I see. 
Yo, Akatello. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. How's your Monday so far? Somehow you got retribute from a granny and you transform into a manticore. Uh, uh. Oh, accidentally all tap out of the game. Okay, okay, let me go over here real quick. Are you having a P what is PMS? Is it a abbreviation for something? Or are you having a PMS granny? You are e easily anger? Oh no, you, you don't say that to old people. They gonna they gonna be like, uh so weird. Huh. You're right, I should have done this instead. Oh no, she's gonna no! Oh god. Ah uh, pull your head okay, I thought she's gonna punch me. Okay, okay, so that is fail. So that road is not good. We're gonna go with another road instead. Yo, Orion, time of the month. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a nice day so far. Uh we're gonna go back one chance and we're gonna ask are you going somewhere it's none of your business see see what I mean like you don't ask that to random people you meet you don't have a, to be sour you know you want me, me to accommodate you granny that's such a creepy in endeavor to say though pound granny suddenly slammed her plastic bag into your face ow I can't believe kids these days. You're trying to hit on me, aren't you? Like, excuse me? I. What? Man, what are you doing? Asking a girl PMS, of course you're gonna be angry. What is PMS? I don't know. You guys know what PMS is? I don't know what PMS is. Is it a phone number? Or something? Or like, um. I don't know, condition? <sighs> Get yourself checked up. Granny left was still grumbling something. What? What's that? Yeah. I don't. I don't know anymore. <sighs> oh, it's something to do with a period month. I don't know. Oh, is it supposed to be like? Are you on period? Okay, that's a bit messed up. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. So I guess we're gonna have to go with... Are you alone here? Ah, I see, I see. Mm. Well, a woman measuring and her emotion become more irritable. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Premenstrual syndrome. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, are you alone here? Yes, my grandson asked me to buy some apples. He wants to eat some apples. Granny shoved a big plastic bag full of apples with her quivering hand. Poor Granny, she already old and weak yet being asked to do Aaron. Her grandson has no shame. Did your grandson come with you? She shake her head. No, he didn't. But he said he'd pick me up here. I'm waiting since 9am and he haven't come yet. Granny currently sighed heavily while watching the road, hoping her grandson would come. Sorry, 10, and your interview started at 11. I can't just leave here, leave her here alone. Of course I can. But my interview is an hour. This is awful. It could be cloudy soon if she got caught in the rain. Oh god. Oh, I suck to be a good person. What you guys do? Uh. Tell Granny to go home. That's that's kind of take Granny to her home. Take her to the police station. I think in this situation, take her to the police station is probably the best choice. You don't tell people to go home because she's just stay here for you know waiting for her grandson, right? Ah, uh, this is. This isn't a game, it's a base pretend to be a visual novel. Yeah, I just re re uh, realizing it earlier. Like, there's only one 
good choice, or at least so far I think. But everything else is like will lead you to like a very bad ending. Okay, so I'm gonna take her to the police station. You here for Olivia? Is there Olivia in here? I hope there's Olivia in here. Haven't saw her in a while. May I take you to the nearest police station? Granny may get caught in the rain because it's already cloudy and will rain soon. But what if my grandson come pick me up? Ah, uh, that's true. Oh god, another one. Are we arrest arresting Granny? I don't know. Uh, I mean, in this situation, what will you guys do? Will you just ignore her? Will you take her to her house or like what? Because it's, it's tough. The police will take care of it. I'm sure your grandson will uh, instinctively find you. If he remember you, he will go straight to police station. I think the police will take care of it. Most important thing now is you have to take a shelter first. Okay, thank you for taking me to the police station. For some persuasion, she managed to get Granny to the nearest police station. When you arrive, you find a police officer busy with his walkie-talkie. Oh no, we, we go to the police station now. Excuse me sir, I want to make a report. Quiet. The police officer signal you to be quiet. What the heck with this officer? Uh, sorry to disturb you sir, but I want to report. Quiet! Oh jeez, people are so hostile in this game. Again, the officer signal you to be quiet. Shh, what shot you, Snake? So this is important. Oh no, he's gonna be mad. Ah, uh, arrest Granny, she's sus. The time the officer pinch your mouth shut. Blah, what the heck? His hand smells like a stink bug. After a few seconds, he releases pinch your mouth and continue to focus on his walkie-talkie. Uh, all of these choice suck. Shout at them? I'm sure that's nothing wrong. Take revenge? You don't touch a, a police officer. You're gonna get in jail. Snatch a walkie talkie? Yeah, you're gonna get in jail for this. What is this? It's a random granny. Is it really that important? For some people, apparently, yeah. I think we should like just tell Granny to go in there. You don't need to to you know. You need to tell the police officer about it. Yeah, hand the grandma over the police. You don't you don't need to. Uh, I guess shower the officer. So reporting it. Oh yeah, I've. Uh, you shout so loud that the old officer has a heart attack. Great! Now we are murder. We're literally a murderer now. Wow! Great. Ollie! <sighs> oh, the option look. Yeah, it's like a good way to get shot, right? Uh, skip to this option. Okay. Ah, oh. jeez. Just give some old police officer. I mean, I swear to God, if you do this in the U.S., you're gonna get shot so fast. Take revenge. You are so annoyed that you want to revenge by doing the same thing to the officer. However, every policeman is capable of martial art, and your move counter swiftly. He didn't even look at you, and dislocate your arm like snapping a candy. Ah, no! No, okay. That's a loss, right? I guess we can go to the last scene. You have one limb and wobble like a flat tube mascot. Oh yeah, I love the flaring tube mascot. Those guys look so funny. <sighs> I got slapped again. Skip, and... Snatch the walkie-talkie. We're gonna get shot. We're definitely gonna get shot. So, I want to make a re- Hmm? Granny? 
Huh. Surprisingly, the officer actually noticed Granny instead of you. So here's the story, sir. This Granny was... Granny, I already told you not to buy Apple. Oh, Jesus, help. But you said that you want Apple. Oh, it's, it's her grandson. It's, uh, it's an officer. So I bought some Apple. There's a green Apple, the more expensive variant. Huh. What, the officer knows Granny? So he's her grandson, eh? Wait a second. Didn't they say that the officer is old? Well, she did mention that he's 32, right? But in, in the other option that the old officer got a heart attack. Can you have a heart attack at 32? Huh. Blood twist! Good grief, Granny. I didn't mean that apples. What's another meaning? Apples only have two variants. Green and red. I didn't say apple. I said brief. Br Preparation. Oh, brief. Oh, preparation. For attending a ceremony. I guess she's misheard. How could Apple do the ceremony? I guess this is some kind of Bahasa translation that I don't get. That may be some like a, a pun or like a miscommunication somewhere. You are dumbfounded to hear the conversation between Granny and the officer. Now you're wondering if it's uh, real or just a prank. Man, imagine, right? Imagine you do all this and like a camera suddenly jump like out of bush like surprise! Smile for the camera! Just a prank, dude! After a moment, the officer noticed you. Who are you? I mean... What do you think, sir? Just a passenger... A passerby? Pacifies. Is it a what? Uh, someone passed by, right? A ghost, sir. Just someone walked by, sir. Huh. Why are you just standing there? Are you trying to do something suspicious here? You better confess before I handcuff your hand. No, I have no, I have no intention of doing anything suspicious. No, that impossible. If not, why are your voice shaking? I'm sure you intended to do something suspicious here. What is this? Ugh. And you are handcuffed by the- Oh. Why are you here, Muna? Choose wisely next time. Why is Una is there? Interesting. Huh. Hey man, try to play game Ravagers? I don't know that game. What's this about? It's a bug, I think. Ah, I see, I see. May need to uh, report that bug to Ollie too. What do you think, sir? The officer grand the granny and glanced back at you. I see. So you were the one that brought my grandmother here. Thank you. If you didn't, I may have made granny wait for me for nothing. Next time, don't be focused on your phone, sir. Pay attention to the poor granny. You said that if uh, we were mating about the officer, but surprisingly, he seemed puzzled instead. Huh. Granny probably mistook this for a phone. It's a walkie-talkie. It was broken. The technician had a day off yesterday, so I tinkered it myself. Really? Thank you. Ah, so he was on his walkie-talkie and not phone. What about sir? Uh, take my leave now. Well, that was a waste of time. You're welcome, sir. Well, you excuse me. You smile and then uh, walk back on the way to your uh, holo ID office. The police officer whip up their disguise to reveal he is indeed Muna. <gasps> Nani? Oh no. Oh no. We have half an hour left. You are run up the ram again? You will exhaust your stamina quickly, but you have, uh, you will no longer care. On your mind right now, you have to do an interview and be qualified to be Ollie's reporter. Hey, we we'll make it to the office. Granny seems like she'll be in the care home. Yeah, seems so. After traveling for about an hour, you'll finally arrive at the Holo ID office. 
Whoa, I finally arrived! I had the whole life Indonesian outfit. Everything here is so amazing. A vivid whole life fan unknowingly skipping out of joy. This took 30 minutes left before your appointment of view, uh, interview time, so you decide to look around the office. Where do I start? Ooh. Meeting room, merchandise, main lobby. We're just gonna go with the main lobby. I'll just check the main lobby since it's the first thing employee will visit when they enter the office building. Whoa, so fancy. I think it's actually the real whole life outfit, right? It's like the 2 million yen outf uh, office. You return to the main lobby and look around. Hmm. I don't see anything interesting. Four benches, four table, a receptionist desk, and two receptionist lady. The reception lady feel uncomfortable with you, start staring at them in inten intently. What? You were kicked out of the office due to harassment? What? It's looking at people harassment now. Ugh, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Apparently, looking at people is harassment now. Ugh, that kind of sucks. Okay, we just gonna load. I think we're gonna check out the the meeting room. Didn't look respectfully enough. I guess so. Maybe I need to uh, be a little bit more uh, transcending, I guess. Ooh, very nice meeting room. You went to the meeting room on the first floor. You didn't see anything that interests you? A long table with a row of chair. Hey, who's there? He's look kinda cool. You are the staff in charge today meeting, aren't you? I'm new here. I'm... Yeah, I know. Buy me some coffee, okay? I want a dozen of latte coffee, go quick. But I am not. Come on, it's almost 12. You need to buy them quickly. Our meeting room staff is so slow at work. You thought it would be full tired to refuse that employee to accept the order? Do you have that problem in real life? Someone mistaking you as somebody else and then you have to, you know, do their stuff, do their errand? You're late in the interview because you went to the coffee shop to buy 12 coffee. Interesting. I don't think that's normally the case, right? Okay, we're gonna check out the merchandise area. Hey, <laughs> I want to see Ollie merchandise. I want to see Udin. Yo, Nick. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. How's your Sunday so far, sir? On Monday, I mean. You follow the side post on the merchandise area. Then to reach the area, you immediately feel with excitement. Oh wow, this is heaven on earth! Your eyes are shining and you see shiny merchandise lined up neatly. Luckily, no other people is in the area at the moment, otherwise you'll be thought to be weird again. Whoa, this is all a birthday merchandise set! Including Bad Bob, awesome! What a cool set! All the merchandise is cool too, fortunately. I don't spend money to buy them now. Wait, I don't have spending money to buy them now. Is that? Whoa! Ollie mascot! It's Odin! Oh, lower your voice, please. Oh, God. A tall and bulky security guard stand behind you. Who are you? You can just come here and keep shouting. You want me to kick you out? Please, please don't. I'm a... I'm a job applicant. Huh. Oh, another Indonesian, um, haven't translated to English yet. It's going okay, wanna see this Oli again? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, I have to report to Oli again. Apparently, this, this, this one is still in, uh, Bahasa, I think. Okay, let me, let me use my, uh, telekinesis again. Huh, this is not an interview room. Or, uh, the interview room is not here. You're better off doing that than loitering around in the merchandise area. Huh, whatever. Enough excuse. You 
Tell me that you're a thief. You think you can trick me? The security guard grabbed you by the collar like dust bad and dragged you out of the office. You drag out of the office and interrogate. So even if you tell the truth, you still got F? Wow. 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 Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna lie then. We're gonna, we're gonna be a, a holo ID fan. So what? Should I be surprised and do a backflip? Sir, this is... My god, he's so grumpy. Ugh. This game feel like a fever trip. It is, right? Whatever, just leave. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. You were kicked out from the merchandise area? Wait, so being 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 a fan is not allowed? What? I guess the passenger then. I'm just passing by. Can you explain how you end up here? Just confess already. You tried to steal the merchandise, right? I mean I do want merchandise, but I I don't want to steal it. I don't want to go that low. You're mistaken, sir. I'm not a thief. Just look at my entire. Does thief bought a suit up neatly? I mean, there's some thief in like black shirt and like really fancy suit. Makes sense. Uh, if I'm playing Hitman and try to steal stuff, I would definitely dress up. But professional Steve wear suit, aren't they? Yeah, I told you. I've been walking here for so long that I found some thief under the sky of fans. Stop accusing me, sir. Oh god. We're gonna be here all day. Seriously, I'm not a thief, sir. Alright then, let me search your bag. Please don't, sir. This violates privacy. If you were really innocent, you wouldn't mind if I search your bag. Hand it to me now before I force you. You subconsciously hug your bag tightly. No, I'm not handing your bag over. Is it allowed? Is a random security guard allowed to touch your uh, private like bag and then um, item? Because you can over here. Like in the US, if you like um, touching someone bag, you probably got like called out and maybe someone may setting you up for like a scam or something. Phantom thief. Hand it to me now. I don't wanna. The security guard's trying to get angry and try to grab your bag. Hands up. Hands up, sir. The tug of war scene ensure between you and the security guard. And we die. The bag is fly inside, split in half, and it be oh god. Oh, I can, I can do this. Oh, I can, I can go back in time like this. That's nice. Okay, you can search my bag. You can search my bag, sir. And it. You hand over your bag and the security guard starts to search it. Liquidly. After two minutes, your bag was returned. I don't see anything suspicious. You're not a thief, I suppose. What are you doing here? I came here for a job interview. I said it's earlier, but he does, does he, he, he didn't believe me. But I have some time before the appointment, so I look around the office a bit. I see. Oh, another Indonesian haven't translated to English. I have, there's two in this area. There's, yeah, there's one in the merchandise, and there's one over here, so there's two. Uh, anyone speak Bahasa in the chat? Cause I don't. Uh, oh yeah. So this is like okay, I guess. This is like something, something. It's mana, yeah. I saw the word mana a lot. Maybe like um, the interview is underway. Maybe where it is. Oh, it say where it is the interview area. Ah, I see. Thank you, thank you, Archbishop. The staff told me it's on the second floor. You can take the elevator to the second floor. There's a room next to the elevator, and that's the room. Thanks, sir. Obi, we almost there. My God. 
There's no way this is second floor. This doesn't look like a second floor, right? You excuse yourself and then head to the interview room because it's almost 11 a.m. There's no way this is a second floor. This is like at least 20, maybe 30 floor, right? That's the way second floor look like this. Unless the first floor is like... Yeah, this is like this level right here. So at least like 40 floor and not second. As you step on the second floor, you were shocked by a sight you didn't expect it. The second floor was filled with various candidates waiting for their turn. Candidate 102? 102! They are called by number instead of name. Number 2 is not here. 102? Wait, that's my number. You quickly took out your phone and checked messages from the whole ID staff. Huh. The staff messaged me 30 minutes ago. Why didn't I realize the notification? Uh oh. What's more, my number is 97. Oh god. No, I'm late to the interview. The first floor is really tall. Yeah. The first floor is like this. And then the second floor is this one right here. Oh god, I'm late. Oh god. It turned out you missed the last message of your staff about your candidate number. And you already missed my five candidate. She's where the candidate. The application is not serious then. 102 is not here, cross it out. Done. Cross it out. Call the next one. Got it? 103. My name must be Cross Out. If my name is Cross Out, can I still join? I can't just go home after coming this far, can I? Even though I was really happy that I could no longer unemploy. Should I just ask the staff? I think we just ask them. Give up and go home? Okay, just give up and go home. It's too much. There's no point. My name is definitely been crossed out. It's too much, guys. Wrap it up. It's over. Game over. We no longer Ollie Reporter. Just give up. Give up on your dream. You grant it for the rest of your life. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not doing that. Maybe not doing that. Okay. We're gonna ask the staff. Or we keep calm and watch. Should I keep calm and watch? I think we just need to act as soon as possible so we can ask the staff. You approach the staff who was stand by the door. Excuse me, sir. My if I ask. Number 102 is not coming. May I come in instead? I'm 97, but I'm slightly late. I beg you, please allow me to come in easy for you. Pretty please. Have to do the, the, the puppy eyes. Pretty pleased, I'm tired of being unemployed. I'm sure you're well aware of how difficult it is to find work, right? So please give me a hand. You are practically begging the staff, but they only look at each other in confusion because they don't know how to address you. This is no good and it has to be dealt with. You're just a candidate, yet you're late and there to beg us? Security! Security! Uh, I, I get a spring, sir. So no. <sighs> Two security guards appear behind you in no time and kick you out of the office. Well, we just keep calm and watch. There's too many people here. I'll get scored if I ask directly. Should I just keep quiet for now? I can't be careless. You're trying to calm yourself, even though your heart would be racing for a while now. Ba bump, ba bump. Oh, I thought it's the heart pumping, but someone pumped into you. Missing that person belonging to Scatter. Oh no. Oh, Candidate 102. It's the Mr. Uh, uh, Edge protagonist here. Help pick it up and stop. Yeah, be nice. Since you are kind hearted, you really help the person you hit you earlier. While you're picking up the fallen item, you see Ollie Prochus among them. What is Prochus? Is it a merchandise? Bro, bro, Prochus? Bro, bro, Brochure? I don't know this word. 
Once all items were picked up, you approached the staff and told them about this candidate. I'm sorry for being late. I'm candidate 102. I was stuck in traffic. Can I still come in for the interview? Nice. Another candidate is also late. Who are supposed to allow that? It's like a little faux pamphlet. Ah, I see, I see. Candidate that fails to respect the appointment time should not be tolerated. How do you think about this? When you, when someone is late for the interview, do you do you give them a chance, or do you just like immediately like denying them because they are late? They basically fail on the like a very first day, right? But the traffic was out my control. Go sooner, buddy. No means no. After the candidate plea got firmly rejected by the staff. The candidate went home in tears. Guess there's no chance. Maybe she should go home too. But my dream of become only reporter. Since it's about 12, candidate after 104 may take lunch break. We will continue the interview session at 1 p.m. Candidate 104, please stay here and come in after candidate 103. Thank you for your attention. Other candidates dispense for their lunch break as well as the staff tidying up their file. I can't give up my dream. I have to make sure I get interviewed today. Whatever it take. Finally, you have the courage to approach the staff before they leave their table. Excuse me. You are? I am. Um, yes. You are also late. Okay. How did you know? Please hear me out first. We have various reasons. Oh god. Please, hear me out. No, I don't want to hear it. You are just wasting my time. You're probably about to say some cliche uh, excuse like stuck in traffic and start classic. Oh no. You please ignore. Oh, this is tough. This is what it feels like to, to, to have an interview, guys. I have an interview once in my life and it's way easier than this. But I have a valid reason. I wasn't late because I'm stuck in traffic or being careless. I don't care whatever your excuse are, you are late. He got a point. Please see me out, taking part in the selection and passing the interview are part of my dream. And ultimately, I want to be Oli Reporter. I everyone want to be Oli Reporter, dude. That's why they are here, right? Are you willing to cross my dream just like that? He will say yes, absolutely. Especially after I make it this far. Say yes. Say yes. Come on. Your smile will work, aren't you? No, you're supposed to say yes. I really don't tolerate candidates who are late. There's no use of persuading me. It's the office rule. Looks like we don't need to be tricked, bro. This candidate dream was so earned and I was... That's it? You just need to say it was my dream to work here and it's what? What? It was this easy? To get... Okay. Write that down guys, write that down whenever you late for an interview. Just say that it was your dream to work here and it will it will sort it out, okay? How about we first listen to the candidate reason? Once you're late, you're late. I like this A guy. He's strict, but you know, follow the rule, right? Maybe this candidate had a special uh, circumstances. The previous candidate will reject would like to be stuck in uh, traffic, which can be solved by learning home by leaving home much earlier. Yeah, correct. Now I'd like to hear this candidate reason of being late. Fine, what's your candidate number? I was number 97, sir. Hearing your number, the two staff hesitate and whisper. See, the candidate is even more late than the previous one. Uh, Indeed, indeed. Just tell this candidate to go home. It's not even worth our time. But still, at least we should hear this the, the reason, I think. I don't know why, but I have an inking that we should have this candidate be interviewed. Yeah, and the inking is uh it's called plot armor, sir. I have plot armor. That's what it's called. Don't use your tuition. This guy doesn't have doesn't feel my plot armor yet. You said yesterday that I should ring. It rained heavily, but it turned out to be scorching hot all day. 
I regret reading an umbrella. That's different, bro. Trust me, bro. Okay, okay, okay. They're whispering, but you can still hear everything clearly. That's called eavesdropping, and you should do that. That's kind of rude. It seems like the steps allow you to have a proper reason for your lateness. Fine. We let you state your reason. If it's a common excuse, we immediately reject you from taking part in the interview, understand? But why? But why? Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. But why? But, hmm, sorry. I blacked out for a moment there. Wait, what did he ask? Understand? No, I don't. I don't understand and I don't wanna. Alright, then there's a door. You can leave now and contemplate your home. Well, that's stupid. You went home but you still don't want to understand. <laughs> what is this game? Okay, sir, I understand. Alright, please continue. I was late because... Oh god, there's so many choices. I got lost looking for the interview room. I was hanging out in the merchandise area. I have no idea the interview system gonna be like this. Yeah, I have no idea. I wasn't informed about the candidate numbering. In fact, one of the staff just sent me the number an hour ago. I was informed to come for the interview at 11 a.m. In fact, I wrapped this up in 30 minutes earlier than the appointment time. Close to 11 a.m., I went to the seventh floor. At the same time, a message came in saying my candidate number was uh, 97. Huh, really? I believe we sent out a candidate number the day before the interview. You can check my message for the proof. To show the message you just received earlier. Jackpot! As for my arrival time, you can ask the security guard in the merchandise area. I guess, yeah, we did meet the guy. Yeah, we're not late. We are not late, they just wrong, I guess. The staff went silence as they both saw the message and looked back and forth between your phone and you. Bro, this candidate is special. I told you, I have blood armor, guys. You almost kicked out a special candidate. Shut it. It was a blunder. What's this? Playing chess now? Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, you may come in for the interview after candidate number 103 is done. I apologize, we don't know that you are a special candidate. Wait, I'm a special one? I didn't know my phone number is that big. I will tell candidate 104 to wait a little bit more. A few seconds after the staff give you good news, number 3 came out of the room with a tense face. You're about to smile, but then you become nervous because your turn has arrived and you don't know what question you'll be asked about there. You thank the two staff for helping you, and you went into the dark room. Why is the interview room is a dark room? I have a bad feeling about this. Why do I feel deja vu? I've been in this place before. Where should I go from here? <sighs> Number 97, you may sit down. Oh god. A voice suddenly came from nowhere, startling you. Oh, uh, no, uh, another uh, initiation. Help! Help someone in chat! Okay, Boro Boro Duku. This is like some something happened? Or maybe like scare or something. That's three. I have to uh, inform Ollie about it. That's three uh, untranslated English version. Oh, it's Four even! Oh, this part is a lot. I'm actually gonna save this part. So there's one right here, one right here, no. There's one right here, one right here, and then there's a lot right here. Oh, sit down on the chair. And this one? Manaya. It seems like a lot of manaya. Manaya is like a question, right? Uh... I'm gonna save right here. Yeah. Uh, s feel your surroundings, sit on the floor, or keep standing. I'm gonna keep standing. 
You told to stick anywhere, ha? Huh? What am I supposed to sit down where there's no chair or stool? There's chair right here. I'll just keep standing. Can you see this room is way too dark? You keep standing in the middle of the dark room while grumbling. You've been standing there for 15 minutes, the room is still dark and your feet starting to give up. Outer Ego? What? Huh? What game we playing now? HRD? Where's the HRD? It's been too long. Am I level long here? Ah, uh, whatever. You keep waiting until you are too tired to stand up, then you choose to go home. What? That was something. Uh, sit on the floor. You have no clue where's the chair, you can see the dark, and then you decide to sit on the floor. It's like you used to do in your freshman year in college. It's too dark and you can't see anything. Ah. You may sit down the chair. The same boy from before instruct you again. I'm sorry sir, ma'am, I can't find the chair. Oh no, another Indonesian one. That's a lot of untranslated Indonesian one. I have to let Ollie know all of this. This is... I don't know. I, I can't guess this one. Can someone tell me what it is? Oh, we forgot about the light. Tick, 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 tick. All the lights in the room turn on one by one, illuminating the room. Oh, there we go. What the heck? The chair is next to me all along. Yeah, there's a chair here. You immediately move to the chair profile and then you face a long empty table in front of you. Not long after, you hear the light footstep from the distance. It's come. It's the interview with Ollie. Hold on, I have to check my entire, gonna be sure that he with my best look, so Ollie doesn't feel uncomfortable. I don't think Ollie do the interview. Uh, never mind. I'm checking countless time already. That must be Ollie footstep. Oh, I can That's not Ollie. The closer the footstep, the harder your heart beat. For some reason, you heard more footstep incoming. Maybe Ollie come with staff to interview me? Gonna pick my suit quick! The door on the, o on the other side of the room opens slowly. This is it! Finally! I can meet Ollie! This is... Huh? You were shocked to see a middle-aged man emerge from the door in a strange outfit. He's wearing an uh, eccentric pattern shirt with an open button. Mr. Bean trouser and a golden ish shoe. It says dye blonde with a blackish blue dye in the middle. Did I mistake the room or did they play prank on me? I was shocked to see the interview was an Ollie, but this man's outfit was way too shocking. Yeah, I thought it's Yago. Where's Yago? I want to see Yago. I want to see Ollie. I want to see Yago. Even get interviewed by Grasshopper feel much better than this. After everyone was sit out, the group suddenly becomes silent and confused. What's wrong with this man? He's glaring at me. I'm a rare species to you? I've been playing this game for an hour and a half and I haven't seen Ollie yet. My god, a day with Ollie? Well, maybe I need to play for 24 hours until I can meet Ollie. So I guess it's, it's kind of true. Uh, maybe I should take the initiative. Let uh, oh god. So, introduction, greet the interviewer. I guess we are greet the interviewer. Good afternoon, Mr. Human Resources from Whole Life Indonesia. Yes, good afternoon to you. Agent 47, I mean 97. No need for pleasantry, let's go straight to the questioning. What do you know about our whole ID talent? Kureichi Oli. I know everything. One of the whole ID VTuber. A zombie idol. The talent of a Hollow ID Gen 2. One of the extraordinary talent from Hollow Life ID Generation 2. The smile suddenly vanished and turned into a sour expression. You are not wrong, but not exactly correct either. What? Uh, Boy Donation, 
Uh, ma'am? Or sir? Did I make a mistake? Think again. Huh. The ID part, sir? Ollie is an extraordinary? She's not from Gentoo? Ollie is a talent, sir? I mean, she is. What? How you dare you say whole life talent has no skill? Try to look at yourself in the mirror. Wait, what did I say wrong? She's from Chen 2, right? I'm not... I'm not stupid, right? The ID pass, sir? I don't know, I'm done talking to you. I'm confused! Huh? I'm really confused right now. She's not from Chen 2? Just go home and then talk... I went home feeling endlessly confused. I'm very confused right now. Um, I guess we go way back. The zombie idol? She rolled from the dead? Has an uh, amnesia? Finally managed to return home? She found her own house already turned into a ramen shop? Not in satisfaction with hearing your answer. Good, good. What reason Ollie choose to become a VTuber? Because she wants to reclaim her own house, so she have to earn money so he, she can buy the house again. Next is more serious question. Hit me, sir. Surely, if I'm going to be Ollie reporter, I require to have part of knowledge of her origin. But. Interesting though, because all of the answer is correct, right? One of the talent of Holo ID is correct. She's from Ch ID Generation 2 is correct, so I don't know why it's wrong. Huh, I get a little bit nervous. I wonder what question it will be. It's my first time applying for a reporter position. Alright, I can do this. I'm studying all night for the sake of this interview. You shrug your chest to calm down and convince yourself that you're all ready for the next question. You ready? We want to answer this question quickly. First, how many stitches does Ollie have? 19. Right on her face. If you doesn't count, um, if you doesn't count on her hand and leg. Second, Ollie's right eye is color uh, red and green. Color of her left eye is yellow. But it's not her left eye, it's uh, a button. A yellow button with a plus in the middle. What size Ollie? Palm! 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 Can I have a direct call to Palm Maker, please? I, palm definitely know the answer. Next, what game Ollie often played collab is Apex Legend. Next? Huh? What? What does feel like an um, Ollie themed quiz? Why is he talking so fast? It's really an interview, so it's a prank. Just, just, just a moment, sir. Next, what size are Ollie? Guys, you guys in the chat, do you know what size Ollie feet? Because I don't. I'm pretty sure Palm know what size is. Uh, Ollie belongs to the second generation. Yes. They ask all question rapidly and doesn't give you enough time to answer. Sir, sir. For Yago's sake, calm down. Slow down, sir. You will frankly shout because they've been rapping to probably beat them. In it. Okay. Huh? When you realize you just have to shout at, you shut your mouth with your hand. Oh no. You just shout at the uh, HRD. That's not good. Please don't be angry. Please don't. It was hard to sway the staff. Am I gonna blast my chances here? You're getting 10 from the fear of being rejected and kick out. And he laughed. My apologies. I really like this and I go that's fine until you said it, but you amazed me. This is the first time someone dared to shout at me. I commence your bravery. Okay, I'll repeat the question. First, how many stitches does Ollie have? On her on her face? Seven. 
Seven? Seven. Seven, sir. You're wrong. What? Oh my god, thank Ollie fan. Okay, fine. I count it. I'll, I'll count it. I'll count it. Ollie. Holo life. I'm sorry. She have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She have ten stitches. At least her profile pictures. On my profile body? On your body? I thought on your face. On your body? Your face you have... On... Oh, on your body! Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh... Wait, uh, no, my own... My, um, what? Um, uh, four alarm... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, there's ten, right? Hold a minute. I'm gonna save the image. Let's see if I can pop it into pain real quick. Uh, da 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 da. Wait. It's 10, right? Am I miscounted? Or something? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 9 is the highest number, but she have 10! What? Uh, um... Am I missing something? It's 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. She definitely have 10. I swear she have 10. Right? I don't know. Uh, let's hide this one. Where's the pain? Hi. Uh, I guess 9 then. Because... 9, sir! Is it individual stitches or all the stitches of the era of her entire body? Because her entire- no, she said Ollie's was in chat earlier, she said that on her face, so... Nine, sir. I doubt you know Ollie's profile very well. Ah, uh, it's the easy question. I swear there's ten. Either that or I, um... Or I missed something. Also, Ollie, if you're watching this, that I found quite a lot of untranslate. Untranslate, uh, what is it? Conversation? Sentences? is still in Indonesian. I found at least like five or six more. I may need, I may uh, do a screenshot later though. Wait, what? Wait, it's not nine? Huh? Is it 13? If I remember correctly. Wait, 13? Uh, what? Okay. Enhance! Enhance, Ollie. Enhance more! There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Uh, maybe there's one right here that her, her bank call it? Maybe there's some up here? You know what? Maybe I need ball Ollie. Is, is anyone have ball Ollie? Ollie whole life ball. I'm sorry Ollie. Maybe that... Ah. So that's why it's go wrong. I'm supposed to use the ball one, not this one. 
Okay. Bam. Everyone, okay, cover your eye if it's too much for you. Okay. So, if you look at ball only, you will see that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, am I missing something? Why in the game it said 13? Wait, it's 13! Huh? Wait, hold on. Am I missing something? Is it one more up here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. I, I, I found it's 12, but... Maybe the number is different. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so it's apparently it's 13. Second, only right eye color is red green. The color of red eye is yellow. It's yellow. I don't need to look at it. Not a taking note of his paper. For the next question, I said you give me a firm answer. I don't want to hear an answer with a hint of doubt. Since that means you are not even sure with your own answer. Got it, sir. Hit me. I like your enthusiasm. Is to have we need a pray and passionate reporter after all. How tall is Ollie? She is 165 meter. Seriously? The question will be full of trivia? How would I know Ollie height? I'll just answer whatever. Are you kidding me? She's 162, right? 162. Yeah, she among the 103 previous candidates. You are the first to answer correct. Just go to Hololive Wiki. That's that's not her. Come on. What's the name of Ollie Teddy Bear? It's Zuden. Come on. Come on. I don't need to save for this. This is easy. Like, I will ace this so hard. Oh, I knew it. Wait, what? Ollie debut is December 24th. December 4th? No, December 24th. Right? Wait, no! I mean, December 14th. Right? Wait, no, it's December 4th. Ahem. <clears throat> yep, Ollie debut at December 4th, 2020. Ahem. <clears throat> Pretty sure she's multi talent. Uh, impersonating, gaming, cooking, I guess impersonating. Good, including her, how many siblings does Ollie have? Ollie have siblings? She have... She have Olo, right? She have two siblings? Younger brother Olo and Ellie. So she should have two siblings. Three siblings. Did I miss someone? Two siblings. I don't want to hear a half true answer. You don't get my instruction, huh? Oh god. No! Three siblings? Ollie is the youngest? Ollie, no, Ollie has a younger sibling. She had Olo, her younger brother. Wait, is it four? They shot note and, and took a note on his paper again. Oh god. I'm exposing my Ollie knowledge here. What only can Ollie speak? She can speak three language. Indonesian, English, and Japanese. Yeah. Who is Olivia? Is Ollie uh, Art Nemesis? Ollie Alter Ego? Ollie named when she was alive. Ollie from another universe. It's correct, right? So much for Ollie being your Oshi. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, this part will be deleted after today. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> it's so funny to see you tense. The answer correctly. Next is the last question. What's the main reason to be Ollie reporter? I like Ollie. Ollie motivate me with her funny content. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I might be one. I want to be more than a fan and be useful for Ollie. That's so, that's so me, man. 
That's why I applied for Ollie reporter position. The HR seemed amused and not in response of your answer. Slam. HR uh, stand up with a bang and then stand up as well in response. The HR extend his hand and a friendly smile and you don't really get it, but shake his hand either way. You, I accept your application as uh, Ollie reporter. Welcome to Whole Life Nation. Freaking knew it. Nail it. You have shown me an outstanding and impressive interview. You're so happy if you're on Cloud9, as if you're getting a doll prize. Really, sir? My application accepted? Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You thank and bow many times. He seems slightly annoyed, though. That's enough. Now follow me to the other room. For what purpose, sir? Oh, is it that Orient? You will meet Crazy Ollie! After almost two hours, we can finally meet Ollie. Don't you want me to introduce you to your work partner? Or we're we gonna like a like a like a buddy cop movie. Like Ollie and uh, the incredible reporter. Let's get moving. Understanding what he means, you immediately get up and follow to the room he mentioned. Let's go! In the next room, you surprise the Ollie. The room is really messy. I mean, I'm not surprised. Sorry, I have to see this. Ollie is looking for a missing item. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, a loud ring tones come from the HR. Excuse me, myself, be introduced to get to know each other for now. Ollie, we explain to this new employee responsibility, okay? Please be fully void. I think it's gonna be fully voiced. I had other things taken care of. And I'll leave you alone with Ollie. And then they uh <clears throat> No, that uh that's a different game. That's uh that's another mod. That's another mod. This is this is not not that type of visual novel. Whoa, I'll be the luckiest whip alive! I wanna ask for a selfie and then Wait, there's no voice? Ah, uh, Him. Hello. One, two, three, I'm sorry, I'm just keep counting her stitches. Suddenly, Ollie stand up and stare at you sharply while patting her skirt gently. Hello, I heard you are the one who reporting me, right? Who will be reporting me, right? Nice to meet you, I'm... Good, 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 crazy! Ollie Desu! Yep. Ah, oh, fucking hell, my heart beating so fast. Jesus, this is a game. Why, why am I, mm, I get a little bit way too, too into this thing. Please, please be working with your hours, good as must. Calm down. Please be working with you. I'll, 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 I'll be only reporter this soon. <laughs> You're so nervous that you mimic Ollie's speak earlier. Yeah, I can see myself doing that. Huh. Nervous, aren't ya? Sorry, I'm kinda busy for my missing item now. I'll see you tomorrow. Sure, Ch -ch Ollie. And then you went home feeling satisfied and happy because you just became Ollie's reporter. We did it! Mission success! Is this my home? Ring 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 your home Disturbing your sleep And That will mark Wait, I need to save You feel too early for wake up your alarm You ignore it and snoop itself Because it's ring repeatedly You are annoying and check your phone Turn out it was a call from a no number You had no choice but to answer the call Even though you were still half asleep And that will be for tomorrow and stream yeah i know i know that i know that the phone ollie has been instructed on twitter that when the next day happen and then uh when the phone rang that is when you should stop the stream and then wait for ollie to play so i will stop the stream here thank you everyone for i'm gonna hit the the main menu Thank you everyone for tuning in. It's like after what? 
Almost two hours, we just managed to meet with Oli and become Oli reporter. There's a little bit of issue then and there. I would like to report. Uh, first of all, I would love if you can all tap out the game with the music on. So there's no music playing on the background. So if I tap out like this, the music suddenly stops. So it's a little bit hard to na navigate around. So I would love if you yeah, kind of change like that. There are some issue. Uh, I will go through them if I remember correctly. There's like five. Nope. Okay, okay. Skip, skip. There's one. There's some untranslating. I would like to report. Maybe if Ollie's still watching, there's one right here. If you say you are a passenger, uh, there will be one right here. Uh, where is it? You can sort my bag. There's a couple right here, and then there's two in a row in the security room. Yeah, like right here. This part, this part is one, and then in the security room, this one is. This question right here is in Indonesian, even though I'm playing the English person and the previous one. Uh, this one. So there's two in a row. It's still in Indonesian. That's all the thing that I found so far. But uh, apart from that, everything is working pretty good. There's another one where you rescue Eofi. Oh yeah, there's there's also Muna showed up in one of the end screen. It's a uh, it's a little bit tough, but I think it was it's it's great so far. Oh, I can't wait for the next day. I'm assuming Ollie will play tomorrow again with Kobo. And um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. I uh, I will leave the link of the game down below in the description. You can buy it on Steam for seven dollars. Uh, you can support Ollie and whole life as a whole. So yeah, please uh, go do it. Okay. As for me, thank you, you guys. Uh, hang out in the chat, playing with me. I'm having a blast. And I will play again tomorrow. Hopefully, I can play the next part tomorrow. If not, uh, I have to wait until Ali play it, right? So you know, no spoiler and whatnot. So yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, I I'm glad that I can do it. You know, playing my Oshi's uh, new game. I hope I make your day a little bit better, and I will see you guys next time. Hello from Thailand, hello, hello. You caught me at uh, quite uh, the end moment there, but thank you for tuning in. I will be signing out. Good luck, have fun, and good night. Bye. Have a nice day, everyone.